Hi, my name is Michaela Lenonen, and we have been at Homelink for three years, and I have two kiddos there this year. I've got a third grader and a kindergartner, and I will be talking about Right Start Math today. We started using it towards the end of my daughter's first grade year, and we really enjoy most of it. Um, there's a lot of fun interactive games, and it's um, definitely been good for our family. It's a little bit different than a lot of math curriculums. It's not worksheet based. There's very few worksheets that are involved. If you look at the worksheets, um, the worksheet book, this is the worksheet book uh, for level A, and they really try to get away from characterizing them as first, second, third grade, um, and they go up through high school too, but that's all there is for the first level. And it is definitely a parent-led curriculum. So if you are wanting a worksheet-based curriculum where you can teach your kids, sit them down, have them do their work, this is not the one. This is very hands-on, manipulative, oriented, and totally parent-led uh, at the younger levels. As it gets older, I'm not sure. We've only started with the first three, the first three levels. Right Start is a circular curriculum for math. So they learn a lot of the same things again and again in different ways because kids learn differently. So which one's gonna stick for them may depend on their learning style. So you go back through things over in level A and then you go back through those same things again in level B and then you see those touched less on in level C as you start to increase subtraction and multiplication. But all the basics, you go over addition, subtraction, multiplication and division in level A very quickly on some of it and then you advance a little bit more in level B and then you start really focusing in level C on subtraction as opposed to addition which the addition portion up to four digit is really the focus in a lot of level B. This again is a parent-led curriculum so you are going to sit down with your kiddo, read the instructions, go over, play games with them unless you, they have a sibling that they can do them with. But it is parent-led. So that's one thing that I really want to stress. But there's tons of games in it, and we've really enjoyed the games. Uh, I will now show you what you get when you order Right Start Math. So when you order Right Start Math, you order the level for your child. And that comes with the worksheet book. And those look like this. Okay, that's level A. And then you also get your teacher's manual. And the same with level B. You have your worksheet book, which is a little bit thicker, and then your teacher's manual, and then level C, which we just started. But that is your worksheet book, and it is thicker. I'll show you the inside of the manual here. We have our lessons laid out for us and it shows you the scope and sequence. So what you will be teaching each day. There are many days that we get through multiple lessons. Uh, it just depends on your child and the information that they already know. So level A really focuses on understanding numbers and basic addition. They do introduce some information with clocks and telling time, uh, measurements, and adding uh, two-digit numbers. It does not go above two-digit numbers. They do geometry and shapes in there also. And then throughout the book, there are assessments that the child does, and there is information on what you are to say as the teacher and then there's an assessment in the workbook also that they write their information down on. Or if you're doing it orally, you can note that you did it orally and you wrote the information if they were able to do that in their head. If your child struggles in a certain part of it, this will tell you go back to a certain lesson so they can work on that. This is an example of a lesson. It starts out with a warm-up, things that they've learned, or that you're working on, and then it goes into the lesson and what you'll be learning. Right Start Math uses an abacus so the kid can visualize what is going on with the numbers. I'll get more into that. 
In the back of each book, there's the appendix section, and it has different pages that you use throughout the lessons. I copy a lot of these so I can get them out. You make a calendar, your clock games, and other other fun things that you use. When you order Right Start Math, you need to order this set, and then you also need the card games book. You only have to buy this once, and then it goes throughout the years, but it tells you which card game to look up, and it tells you in that book what, what numbers. So S5 would be subtraction, and then you find S25 on there. And those are throughout all the levels. And there are other games in there besides card games. My kids love some of the games in there. And some of them just don't click with them. And so we'll repeat the ones that they love. You also need to order the manipulatives kit. And it comes with a bunch of stuff. And it covers years of their math. So it comes with... You've got tiles, so the one inch tiles, and then the centimeter cubes. You use those a lot in levels one and two, or I guess they call A and B. You use those a lot in A and B. The tally sticks are really used in level A. Uh, we haven't gotten to these yet, so I imagine that they're towards the middle or end of C or into higher levels. We have used this in level B, which is kind of fun. My daughter likes that one. You use these cards a lot, and, and the intent of these cards, these four different, are to show the child what a number looks like in multiple different methods. So they can just recognize a number. We play dice games a lot, so they can recognize those numbers quickly in a different form than just a digit. Uh, and they can recognize the, the Hindu Arabic digits but then it also allows them to see that this is a nine. These are multiplication, so we haven't gotten deep into multiplication yet. That starts in level C, D area. The balance is a lot of fun. We use that for multiple different things, learning addition, subtraction, how to make the same number multiple ways. The child learns place value starting in level A, and then you really use all of them starting in level B. We also have had a lot of fun with this. You actually get to construct these giant shapes from these, and then rubber bands hold them all together, and they're, they're rather large, um, probably about two to three feet big, some of them. They're so huge, but they are all kinds of fun. You get geo boards, which are fun. You do symmetry patterning, all kinds of different things with those. Uh, these, a lot of uh, different curriculums use blocks to show a base 10 or multiple different cubes to show when we add things or subtract things and how we regroup. They use these cards and they use those when they're doing four digit addition to represent the numbers that they're showing with the place value card. So that helps them see what number they're actually representing as opposed to just stacking and adding and getting an answer where they don't actually understand what the number represents. So that has been, these have been very helpful for my daughter. You get to play with tangrams. Those are also fun and enjoyable. You do some money stuff starting at level A, just basic stuff, and then you start learning how to add change and give change back in level B. You also get the solids, which these are very nice. They're solid wood and just different shapes. And the kids learn the names of the shapes and all the fun stuff um, that goes with those. The abacus is one of the big things that's really used in Right Start Math. So it's a little bit different than a normal abacus. As you can see, the colors divide at the five. So we've got five and five. So when a child is learning, they teach five and three is eight. And they also teach the child that when you get to 50, the colors switch again. So they use this in a multitude of different ways. The back is also different. So they teach them 
how to represent ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands in this method also, besides the cards and the the place value or the place value cards and the block cards. And it allows them to visualize that. And then as they get into level B, you use these. So when they're adding or they're trying to represent 300, you use three of these cards and then you use your abacus for your tens and your ones. Comes with multiple decks of cards. You have percentage cards, which we have yet to get into, and we're about 20 lessons into level C. And your fraction cards you do use in level B. We played some fun games with those. This deck is numbers zero through 10, and it is, it's actually two decks, it's rather big. But we use that for tons and tons of games. Uh, go fish games that they call go to the dump. You use it for war games. So who has the biggest card gets the cards. You can also use it for addition war, which is a fun game. So you flip two cards and then whoever has two cards out up to more, they get the cards. So there's all kinds of games in the game book that really use these cards. And we've also played more war, less war with the fraction cards and that helps them kind of understand. It also comes with a fraction table, which I really, really like this because it allows them to compare the size of the pieces and how many it takes in order to equal something else. And so where I can give my daughter a half, I can say what other fractions equal the same size as one half. And she can go through and lay them on top of each other with these and match them up. That was very, very helpful in her understanding fractions and seeing that just because a number's bigger on the bottom doesn't mean that it's a bigger number. And that's a hard concept for a lot of kids to understand. And it does come with basic rulers. Uh, and then this is a yardstick that folds up. Uh, we haven't used either of those yet, except for one thing in level B with this, and we haven't used this at all. But that's what you get with your kit, and I hope that helped you understand kind of how Right Start Math works and what's going on with it and what you would get when you order this curriculum. All right, thanks, bye.